Hi, this is a part two of my uh, my uh, press lights for my Dillon 650. Check that out. It's not that not a beautiful clear picture. Remember what my other picture looked like for the uh, case feeder? Well, I got that second camera in that I I bought. I talked about the first one goes in the tool head, which is great. I mean, there's a picture of the tool head. There's the case feeder one. And I, I modified it. The other one that I bought, it just was this thing. It just clipped on the case feeder, which, I mean, it worked. But every time you had to take the case feeder down to clean it, change a, a plate, whatever, you had to screw with it and play with aiming it. I had an old, well, it's not old. I never used it. See that plate there? That is made for a, uh, a regular cable connector double female you could mount in the house for cable TV or whatever and I just drilled the hole out bigger so that it would fit my camera that came in my 1099 camera and I just put some screws in it on an angle right and it is doing great for me I don't have to mess with it. I was able to connect the wires to the wall so I don't have to it's not touching the case feeder at all I don't have to screw with it it's a great upgrade, it really was. Really was. And it gives me such a beautiful picture. And I can see the whole case feeder running out. Which is cool, I've never seen it before, the whole thing run. Just the bottom I would see a pile of cases. What it's about to see if I was out of cases or not. And to make sure it wasn't stuck or something. So. so there I am, that's my part two. That second camera I ordered. I was so happy the first time I ordered that second one. And I just love it. I really do. I really, really do. I may have to pick up one or two to add to my security system out here. They're so tiny. Mount them on a plate or anything like that. They run off 12 volts, which I happen to have plenty of with a solar bank out here. So it's not a problem. So there we are. I was going to originally mount it here, have the plate come out and hang over it. I go, well... I'm gonna. These things here hold, are gonna hold my uh, all my tool heads and stuff. Well, I didn't want to fight with it. So back there, it's just clean. It's out of the way. You can't even see it from the front hardly. So it works. I am very impressed. It's not very often you buy something that's just great, and that was great. That's the best $10.99 I spent twice adding it to my video thing. So there you are. I think down the road I'll, I'll look around. I'm a ham and I go to what they call swapping shops and stuff like that. I'll find me a, an extra monitor with an RCA input. I mean, it'd be hard to beat, though. This one switches input to input so easy. And I can see it now. I guess I don't need a bigger one, but that is just wonderful. It just is. I'm just... When I first got it, it didn't look very well at all with those other cameras. So, and here's what the other camera looked like. It worked, it just wasn't near the quality. So, there you go, YouTube, part two. I hope this helps somebody out. Happy reloading. Bye bye.